Yes, darling. One second, what happened? You came today to pick us late. Well, my darling, I am sincerely sorry. I was busy prepping for lunch when, um, you know, I lost track of time. I didn't know it was past your dismissal time. I'm sorry. Mom, did you just say lunch? Yes, my love. How could you be making another lunch when me and Samuel know you made lunch for us in the morning? Scoop a chain of lunch and now you're telling us you're making lunch. Huh. Mom. Mom. Uh, yes, darling. You know, um, my Sunday school teacher mm. always says that we hire school to hell. She said so? Yes. yes. Mom. Yes, baby. You kept us waiting. Why is it that you always come pick us from school late when all the pupils have gone home? We'll not be looking at them like moogles when their parents are coming to pick them up. We'll well, be looking at them like fools. I'm, all because we're waiting for you. I know, baby, and I'm sorry. I was busy with chores that I lost track of time. It shouldn't have happened. It was irresponsible of me, but I'm sorry, okay? The chores took my mind off it. Did you just say chores? Yes, chores. Oh, uh, you said chores. No longer making lunch. It's now choice. Choice! Mom, how could you be lying to us? How could you? You're just lying to us. Baby, come on. You don't scream at mommy. I wasn't, I'm not lying to you. Okay? You, of course, you lying to us, mom. Would you let me talk? Now, I was prepping lunch. And when you, I wasn't even prepping lunch for today. I was prepping lunch for tomorrow. Okay. And I was, you know, chopping onions, you know, stuffs. And that's, those are the chores that has to do with the preparation of lunch okay so mom doesn't tell lies i would never ever lie to you okay i'm truly sorry this happened it will never happen again i promise i think it's high time we tell them about this no yes of course no mom wait it's been a long time you have been doing this i don't get it we look at other students, get carried by their parents, and we look at them waiting for our own hey, mom parents. to come and pick, pick us. us. Well, who does that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, kids. You don't have to pit daddy and I against each other. Huh? I was. I got carried away. You got carried and away. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise you, baby. It won't happen again. Okay, okay, if it happens again, then you can tell that. But we don't have to bother him. You know, he works a lot. I wouldn't want this to disturb him. Okay, I'm sorry. We accept your apology. Oh, you thank you, baby. Life is obvious. I'm not lying to you. I would never do that to you. You guys are my favorite kids in the whole world. Well, you are my only kids, so definitely my favorite. And guess what? What? Ice cream. Yay! Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just get you guys ice cream. So. Oh, mom, like, mm. are we going straight there now? If you want to. If you want me to just stop there, that's no, fine. No, 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 no. What do you want, Samuel? You want us to go home first and change and then go to the ice cream place. Okay, Samuel. that's fine. I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, mm. Sandra. Yes, baby. Sandra. If you go there with your uniform, everybody will start looking at you. So we have to go and change. Samuel has a point, so let's go home. You change into something perfect and okay. we go for ice cream, okay? Okay, mom. Oh, mom, yes, promise. Yes, baby, I promise you. Ah, and I love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This food is cold. I don't like it. How 
come on, serve us cold food. I don't like this food again. See him. I think mom is preoccupied with something in this house that always make her come pick us late in school. What do you think, Sam? I know my mom. She lies a lot. That's what I think about her. <laughs> Let's eat our food. Uh, I'm going to manage it. Me too. It's not delicious, but I'm not sure it though. No, mm -hmm. sir, it's delicious. A delicate meal. You will eat it too, whether you like it or not. What am I doing? This food is doing and I should throw up. I'll but... throw up now. Let me carry it. Thompson is very stupid. I swear. You see how this is Thompson? He's very mad. He's very mad. He's very mad. You see how this is Thompson? No, 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 no. You cannot. I think I should cut him off. That's what I should do. Yes. Why are you home so early? Did anything happen at the bank? Nothing happened at the bank. You remember I told you the last time I wasn't feeling fine? Yeah, I remember. I fainted. What? Yes, baby. You, you fainted? Yes. Um, then I was rushed to the hospital where the doctor carried out a test with my urine. And I was confirmed pregnant. What? You, you're pregnant? Yes, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be a father. Yes, I'm three months gone. Three months gone? Yes. How, how come you didn't know? Baby, you're the one asking me this question. You know, I've been battling with infertility for the past three years, coupled with the recent irregular menstruation. Baby, why the mood swing? This this should make you happy. You should be happy about this. Yeah, yes, I'm happy, babe. I'm You're happy. Going to be Wait, a dad. I'm going to be a dad. Yes. Are you are you saying I'm a good striker? <laughs> yes. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh my soul. Oh. Yes. Hello? Hello, Michael. You can't believe what just happened. My wife is three months pregnant. Bro, I am dead serious. I came back to meet her sleeping. Bro, it is for real. After three years of waiting, I am finally going to be a dad. I am so excited. Look, look, Miko, I am very excited. Like, I have not been this excited for the past three years. I can't believe my eyes. Lucy is pregnant and I'm going to be a father. I'm so happy. Bro, see, I will meet you up. We'll have a lot of talking to do. I will celebrate all the celebration today. Let me just quickly cook for my wife and I'll meet you up. We'll have a lot of talking to do, okay? Alright, alright. I'll see you later. Have a nice day. <sighs> Lucy. I came as soon as I heard the good news. Thanks, my darling. Thank you so much. You know, um, at first I was thinking um, it was work stress mm. that is making me physically unwell and wanting to, you know, the desire to vomit. Mm. Not until the doctor confirmed that I'm pregnant. <laughs> Those magical words. Like, I know how it feels when you hear them. Congratulations. I am super excited for you. Thank you, darling. You're already glowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Thank you. congrats. I know what it means to be married for years without having a single child. I mean, it's not easy. Do you know, my elder sister, she was married for 12 years. 12 whole years. Nothing. You know, they did everything they could. 
They tried IVF. Wow. Artificial insemination. Wouldn't you name it? They were begging God for just one child. One. So trust me, I am truly excited for you. I feel for her. Thank you, my darling. Oh, my darling. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but in all this excitement, hmm, I feel it's time you take a break. Yeah, well, um, I was given a permission oh. from work at least um, to take some time off. You mean you have your leave already? Yes, one month to say. Yeah, one month. One month? Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's super good because I mean the baby will be developed by then and definitely to stay. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, Joker Pat, you need to take really good care of yourself. Yeah, sure, I know, and I'm going to do that. Lucy. Yes. Lucy. Yes. I will do whatever that. Whatever you need to do to stay off stress, whatever you need to do. To protect this one, please just I do it. Protect it. Are you sure? Yes, baby. I know your work as a banker can be very stressful. Let's see. Mm. I will protect it. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, I'm happy <laughs> with good news. You know, I love good news, so yeah. <laughs> Seeing are my eyes deceiving me? Holy Moses. The amount of food my daughter in law is dishing for this boy is totally incredible. I mean, <laughs> this boy would never leave this compound, not even in the next 10 years. Because he's having fun, he's enjoying his food. I don't know if the one that pains me the most is the, the, the lovely dish that she's using to serve him. We, all of us within the house, we don't even eat the, 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 the quantity she's dishing for him. And she doesn't even serve us in such beautiful dishes. What did I feel? Something going on. It's our baraka. Very soon, my son's money will finish. And it looks like this boy's intention is to finish my son's money. Pieces of meat did you put for Titus? <laughs> Mommy, since when do you go about counting the pieces of meat I saved my gate man? Well, 
what I saw was quite um, enormous. And I, I, I was wondering, is there any special thing he does around here that makes you overfeed him? I mean, come on. I know what I saw. Well, I don't know what you're implying, but the only thing I know is the work of a gate man is pretty serious. It's not easy. The only reason I feed him that much is for him to eat well so he could do his job diligently. I see. But it would be nice if you did that without emptying the sauce from where the money is coming from. Well, my husband can never be broke. The money can't finish. Oh, well, that's what you think. But if you continue feeding Titus the way you've been doing, I, I don't understand it. You don't even feed us that way. If you continue in that light, then the money would finish. You see, your duty as a good wife is to help your husband conserve his money so that you people can use it for something tangible. Is that too much to ask for? Mommy, the, the thing is, I, I just can't wrap my head around what you are trying to say. No, I can't seem to figure it out because even Jesus Christ, you know, fed 5,000 people. He didn't even care if they were gay men or hairdressers or even old men or young women or even kids. He fed everybody without even discriminating. So... I'm just trying to be open-minded to, to emulate what God did here on earth. So uh, I don't... You're seeing yourself as Jesus no, Christ. No, I'm just emulating him. <laughs> it's okay. With the long hair, you think you're actually Jesus Christ. <sighs> Listen, you as somebody's wife, help him conserve his money. And I perform my wifely duties more. You know, not rightfully. Try to be more conservative. Thank you. Man, things always like he's your brother or yes. related by blood. Objection, my lord. Huh? Come on. Mom. You told me what your teacher said that all sinners would go to the lake of fire, right? And she taught you a couple of other things. Yeah. And I'm sure amongst them, she said something, she said something like, love your neighbor as yourself, right? Yes, of course. And Titus is our neighbor. And you want That's to love Titus your more neighbor than more than my father. Oh, okay. And to answer your question, Mom, I got worry. a surprise for your dad. Mom, Mom you your got a surprise for yeah. my dad. And now this package is for Titus. I don't think you need it. 
Young lady, you don't talk to your mother like that. I got your dad a gift. It's a surprise for him. And it's going to be delivered tomorrow. It's never too late. Uh, and you know what? I'm going, to put, I'm, I'm going to put you straight when I get in there. You don't talk to your mom like that. Titus, come. <sighs> My love, I got you something. Yes. <sighs> Careful, Titus, careful. Madam, mm. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, hey. baby. Let me get all these ones. Oh, will you? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. you can go now. As for you, kids. Where's that young lady? Susan! Samuel! Woman of fire With a bony desire Woman of fire Thank you For me Thank you, my love You're welcome Madam, you won't kill me for this house Chai, so, madam, they treat me well for this house. You, eh? Come on, I might drop fork. Now to drop this fork, I beg. Eh? The titles, get man. Then they chop, then they chop food like this. Hmm. Why no come fresh now? Eh? Why no fresh? If they buy me clothes, they buy me canvas, enough money day for the other. Hmm? Madam, if I leave you my bed, my baby, my baby. Uh -huh. yeah, I'll take this one slow. Watch out this one It's all that matters to her Woman of fire Hey, her waist is always on fire With a bony desire She cannot stay for a day without Sabi So, woman of fire Try. She know if it's control it A bony desire <sighs> 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 oh. Oh. oh, gosh <sighs> Let me, let me go wash up my makeup so I can sleep. Ah, baby, I'm not done. Just one more, okay? Just what? Let's just catch a breather and we'll continue. Jeez. I told you I had a long day at work today. And you were pleading and pleading, and I said, okay, let's do it. And you had it two consecutive times with me, and you're telling me you're not okay. Couldn't you at least allow your pregnant wife to rest, <laughs> to sleep? Baby, you know I have high libido. Eh? I need to satisfy myself too. Eh? Stop complaining. Let's just do this thing. You always complain. I'm saying, must you do it four to five times with me? <sighs> Don't you know I am pregnant? Okay, okay, babe. You know what's going to happen? Just... Come and touch me. Just give me a BJ or something. So because you have high libido, you want you want me to have a miscarriage? Babe, okay. At least. I, I've been going from the back very gently. I've not been hard on you. Just relax. Let me satisfy myself too. This is not food. Sleep. Since you don't want me to go wash off my makeup. Sleep. Let me sleep. It's not food. Don't okay. allow me. Leave me. I am pregnant. It's okay, baby. Fine. I understand. Let me just, just, okay, just come and give, just come and give me a BJ. Babe, are you going to leave me like this? You need to tell me that 
why my married left this house at 6 a.m. in the morning and she's, she's not yet back? What am I supposed to do? Even, even now that I want to do, I can't even find her anywhere to do. A am I supposed to go out there and, and look for another girl to satisfy my urge? What is all this? Look at the time. And what is good about the evening? Why are you pissed? Did anyone make you angry at work or something? Did anyone upset you? Look, Lucy, I have told you times with that number to quit your job at the bank. Why is it so difficult for you to do? I'm be doing what at home. Why should I quit my job? Quit your job and stay back home and take care of your husband and your family. Is that too big to ask? You want me to quit my job? And become a housewife or something? And why can't you? Why? Why can't you quit your job and... I will not do it. I will not quit my job. As a matter of fact, you met me in the bank. Oh. You married me as a banker. And now you want me to quit my job and become a housewife. I will not try it. I am not even thinking about it. I can't. Oh, I see. What about Nancy, my friend's wife? Did she leave her career behind her to take care of her family and her husband? Why? Why? Why is it too big a sacrifice for you to make? Why? Something. I am Lucy. I am not Nancy and you don't expect us to behave alike. And I will not quit my job. And why can't you behave like Nancy? I'm asking you to behave like her. I'm your husband. Quit your job and take care of your house. What is all this? I married you to take care of me and the house. You, 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 you don't even you don't satisfy me in bed anymore. I want to make love to you. You'll be laying down like a log of wood. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go out there and look for another girl and satisfy myself? What is it? Oh my gosh. You know what? You're crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Because I'm telling you the truth. I'm not crazy, right? I, can't, I cannot just tell you what to do in this house. Just stay back home and take care of me. Is it, is it my fault that I want you always? Can't I just have my way? Am I supposed to go out there and look for another woman? What is all this? Just quit the damn job and we can have peace in this house. You can't. What nonsense? Every day you make me talk. You make me talk every day. What nonsense? Damn job, my food. So hot. Really? I enjoyed every bit of it. Are you for you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's go another round. Babe, wait. We just finished the fourth right now. At I, least let's have some moments. I know. I want some more. Look, I paid for this and I see no reason why you're complaining. Just allow me to enjoy myself and enjoy my money. Eh? I'm not tired. I want some more. Are you for real? What? What is the problem? Look, look, you have to relax and allow me to have my way. I want some more. I like it a lot. Is it a bad thing? I like it. Huh? Just relax, okay? Babe, wait. What is going on here? So, th this is what you do while I am away? Babe, where is she? Will, 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 you, will you shut up? Who is your babe? Your girlfriend? Your harlot is calling you babe right in front of your wife? Sorry, it's not what you think. It's not, it's not what, please. Just, just calm down, please. 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 Your wife? Did I hear her say your wife? So you are married? And you told me you are not married? Shut up! Hey, shut up! So, so, you told her that you are not married? I'm sorry. So Something you told her that you're not married. Please, just relax. I can handle this. I promise you, I'll handle it. And you, what are you still doing here? Look, get out from my house! Babe, babe. Get out! Just calm down, please. Come on, get out! Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. Just calm down. 
Dress up what? Just calm down. I need you to calm down. I know what I did was despicable. I, lost. I, can't, I can't even explain myself, but please forgive me. Don't leave me, please. I beg you. Forgive me. I know bringing a hookup girl to our matrimonial bed is wrong, but I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Don't leave me. I am done. What I say, I'm done. I am done with you. Please, please. Please forgive me. Please don't leave. If the soothsayer had told me you would bring a prostitute on our matrimonial bed, I wouldn't have believed it. After everything! Please! And you're begging me to say! I my robes. I know what I did was very wrong, but please, don't leave with our baby, please. Don't leave with our unborn child. For the sake of our unborn child, please. doesn't need a father like you. Please. I am going very far away from you. No, 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 no. My baby doesn't need a father like you! Please. You cannot father my baby! Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Like, sorry. like you. I really don't like you. Sorry, I'm sorry. You are from my lawyer. The same for, for the sake of our baby, oh. please don't leave, baby. Please, please. Baby, please, baby. 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 Myself. I have set my own house on fire. Now, Lucy has left with my unborn child. What do I do? And I was having this strange feeling that Lucy was going to virgin on me, but I was too daft to pay attention to my own spirit. Now, what do I do? Huh? Let me call her again. Call her again and see. I still off. Hello? Yeah, hello, Michael. Michael, look, there is fire on the mountain. Yes. Lucy bashed in on me with some book of girls on our matrimonial bed. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't know what came over me. Oh, I've been calling her, but her number has been off. Okay, uh, I'll keep trying then. I'll keep trying. All right. To sleep since last night. I've called her, her number is still switched off. I even called her family, they say they've not seen her. I don't even know what to do anymore. Alright, I'll keep trying. I'll, I'll just probably go out and look for her. I don't know, I just. Alright, no problem. Thank you very much. Alright. I come, I come. Ah. Mama? You're welcome. 
Um, what, what's that your name again? Uh, it's Titus. Titus? Titus? How many times have I told you that your name is Titus? Titus, Titus, Titus. And you say Titus with so much pride. Anyway, how are you and how's your work? Uh, fine, man. Good. Is my son in with the rest of the family? Uh, Organo Deo, he been come out. But Madame and the children did. Oh, really? Okay, then. Lead the way. Where's your mother? She's upstairs. Call her for me. Mom! Mom! Mom, call her. Wow. What's wrong with you? Mom! Oh, my journey was good. My journey was good. So, what were you doing when you came in? We're playing. Uh huh. I hope you never forget to study. Yes, ma'am. All right? Yes. Mommy! Oh, my dear. You're here. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> But, Mommy, you didn't tell us you were coming. Well, you know we're on holidays, so I decided to come spend my holidays with my grandchildren. Yay! Well, at least you should have called us to inform us about your coming. Nancy, do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. I, I, I'm just saying, at least, <laughs> Mommy, who would have gotten the guest room ready for you? I see. I'm not a guest. I'm <laughs> yes. I'm part of the family. True. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandra, Samuel, take Mama's bag to the guest room. Okay. okay. While I just fix up something to eat with you. Okay. okay. Uh, mommy, I'll, I'll get you water first. No then I'll fix you something to eat. Children, be back. Okay. ASAP, I got a new tale for Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, these children, they never get tired of stuff. Dad. Dad. Yeah, my cuties. How Welcome. are you all doing? We are fine. Yeah, I can see you guys are fine. Yes. Dad. Awesome. Yes. Guess what? What? Grab a cube. Whoa. Where is she? She's inside. Inside. I know she bought a lot of things, right? Yes. I'm not sure. Who kept for me? Who kept I something do. for me? I know you will. <laughs> and you. You. Big head. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Big head. I know you. Anyway. Welcome. What are you doing up here? You should be downstairs with mom. And what will I be doing with mom downstairs? You left the kids with her. At least you should be there keeping her company. That's the problem. Why would your mom barge in on us? I don't understand. What don't you understand? Your mom keeps barging in on us. Listen. She cannot just wake up one morning, take a shower, pick up her traveling luggage, and just travel all the way down to my house without even calling first. That's my mother you're talking about. And this is her son's house. You expect her to write a letter before come visiting? This is the 21st century, Michael. Yes! The last time I checked, there's something called phones, of which she's accustomed to. So it is only natural that she picks up a phone, call us to tell us that she's coming. It's as simple as that. What's it all wrong with you? Is it not a crime for my mother and my siblings to come visiting? Huh? Michael, you are a married man. You have a wife and you have kids. It is imperative that your mother or your siblings 
Call. Follow the right process. Pick up their phone. Call. It's as simple as that. Oh, really? But your people troop in and out of this house. I do not complain. Why is mine different? Huh? Well, Michael, let me school you. Because my people are civilized. They actually understand the rules concerning marriage. So they do pick up your phones to call before coming. Unlike your people who just barge in whenever they feel like it. Now you listen and listen attentively. Nancy, the woman you're talking about is my mother. And she played a vital role in my life. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can ever come between my mother and I that are getting to your skull. Nobody's trying to come in between you, Michael. Your mother should understand that you're married. Except she didn't want to get want you to get married in the first place. Then perhaps you should just stay with her and maybe marry her or something. Not bring me here to come and listen to your mother young. Nancy, you've been so cold since my mother came, and I do not know why. Well, it hurts really bad that you take some certain decisions without even consulting me. Why am I then your wife? Nancy, you need to give my family open arms, especially my mother. She means a lot to me. Michael, we do need some privacy. My mother sacrificed a lot for us. Cut her some slack, please. If you truly love me, Nancy, you must love me. And appreciate my mother. She sacrificed a lot for my siblings and I when we lost our father. She stopped at nothing to make sure we all went through the four walls of the university. She sold her car. She sold her jewelries. She sold her wrappers to make sure we're all graduates. When I graduated from Imo State University, I searched for jobs to no avail. Until my mother came up with the plan of me traveling to the UK. She sold her properties just to make sure I leave this country for greener pasture. I am who I am today because of that widow downstairs. I am rich today because of her sacrifices. Nancy, please, I beg you. If you truly love me, accommodate, love, and appreciate my mother. Why? Are you talking as if I do not love your mother? I love her. The only thing I'm asking, and I don't think it's too much, is for her to just give us prior notice before she comes. That's it. It was all my fault. She called me, actually, but I forgot to tell you. Why would you forget such a thing? Something is not right. Something is just not right here. I mean, 
Look at Samuel. Look at Sandra. There's a striking resemblance between them and Titus. <laughs> this had better not be what I am thinking. But how do you explain this resemblance? Oh. <laughs> if Titus really fathered these children, that means my son is not capable of fathering a child. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. No, I just have to get to the bottom of it. It doesn't make sense to me. Not a bit. Let's go and sit with Grandma. No, I'm hungry. What did you say? I'm hungry. Is it not now we just finished eating? Now you're telling me you're hungry. This game takes a lot of energy. I'm exhausted. I need to refill. <laughs> go and tell that to Mom. When she will put your head inside the pot of food you have since. This is my dad's house. I eat when I want to. The problem I have with you, somewhere is that you eat too much. What is there between you and food? Always you like eating food. This boy, I beg. Thompson, this one put it a shame to you. You've been, you know, you've been feeling some type of way. My guy, what's happening? You need to see your guy yesterday. Yesterday, I met some buddies in town. These girls are so beautiful. I took them home and I have a threesome. Like, we had a beautiful twosome. These girls were all over me. One of them was giving me a BJ, and the other one was just busy playing with my nipples. Bro, you need to see your man last night. I was living in heaven right here on earth. It was something magical, bro. Like, you need to have this experience with me. Thompson, you had two some. Yes. But you slept with two women. And I had so much fun doing it. You called that fun? Yes, of course. That's very wrong. That's so bad, Thompson. All the job. Yes, yes. I was, yes. I was only enjoying myself. Enjoying yourself? You've not changed. Thompson, you're still the same person. You have not changed. You better change before it's too late. Like, I'm a man. I'm supposed to enjoy my life to the fullest. I mean, this life has no duplicate. Do I look like a joker to you? No, no, tell me what a responsible man like me will be doing with an irresponsible man like you. You go corrupt my memory card, though. Bro, I did tell you. I, I just, I'm just talking about you having some fun. Having I mean, some fun. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just spare me that, Thompson. Spare me that. What is it? You need to change your ways. There is no life there, Thompson. Bro. Look at you. The same life that led you to losing your wife. Huh? I, 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 I should stay sober. For crying out loud. Am I not loud. supposed to enjoy myself? God blessed you with a beautiful woman in and out. But your stupid character led to her uh, 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 seven you divorce papers. As we speak, you don't even know where your wife and your unborn child is. Look, look, my wife is beautiful, no doubt. And these other girls are beautiful too. I mean, think about it, bruv. 
It's just some little fun. There's nothing... There is nothing like fun there. Thompson! Thompson, every time you come to my office, you talk about girls. I am a businessman. Let's talk about business. Other than discussing about wife, telling me about your escapades. I don't need it. Listen, Thompson, Biko, will anything consigning escapades, Solomon, Salom Thompson? Well, is it bad for me to discuss my escapades with my friend? It is very, very bad. It is very, very wrong. Moreover, we don't do the same business. What am I supposed to be discussing with you that is the money bag? What is it? Thompson. Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I have to get into town. I have some catch-ups to do with my babes. You have some fun fit night. I wanted to invite you, but from the look of things, you're already, you know, telling me off. So, I'll see you later. <laughs> this man is sorry, that is all. So, my girl is no longer okay with my lifestyle. This is actually funny. Like, how is it my fault that I have high sexual libido? Like, how is it my fault? <sighs> Lucy is the cause of all this. She wasn't able to handle my sexual life. And how is it my fault she left me? Like, how? Anyway, um, I'm not going to kill myself because my wife left me. I'm just, I'm going to keep living. But well, Michael, like, anyway, he's all good. I just have to keep living. <sighs> Baby. Baby, are you in the restroom? Are you there? Mm, my wife and drinking water. I don't have to ah.
We need to make another baby. Come on. Come Thank God you are here. Uh, what is my head is filled up. Honestly, I am between the devil and the blue sea. <sighs> what is it that is bothering you so much? <sighs> Thompson. My wife complains I don't satisfy her in bed. <sighs> look, I don't. Look, 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 Nicole. You know, I don't support even when it comes to things like this. You and I know that you cannot satisfy a woman in bed right now. I mean, sometimes you need to just do away with this money, money, business, business stuff whenever you're with your wife and focus on her and give her some good day. Don't say I'm a woman, then why? Am I going to keep myself on top of my wife? Bro, the only I am problem. just, I am just, just, just hustling, struggling to take care of myself and my family. It doesn't stop you from satisfying your wife. Whenever you're with your wife, just look, 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 my friend. Just give your wife some good day. Do for okay for just that moment. Do it with all the business, all the money stuff, and focus on your wife. It's her right. You need to perform your conjugal rights as a married man. Think about it. I just want to build a legacy that will keep my children even when I'm gone. Look, huh? Nicolo, I'm telling you now you would not listen because you're very stubborn. No man has the monopoly for wisdom. We're all learning every day. Just think about it. You won't die and take this money along with you. I mean, she deserves some good and quality time for my husband. Look at you, big madam. <laughs> <laughs> 
pleasure. Blood. <laughs> it's truly good to have you here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> My friend, oh. the rich man's wife. <laughs> well, you can say that again. But, hmm, I didn't know you were expecting. Yes. <laughs> it definitely looks good on you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope Nelson is as good as you are. <laughs> you know what they say, marry your friend. Aww. I married my best friend, a sweet soul. <laughs> Nelson is just the best. He's doing great. Well, you guys have come a long way. I mean, from way back in campus. Yeah. You know, I actually saw something in him, even as a post student way back then. That was why I went for him. <laughs> and to think I'd actually try to cajole you to, you know, leave the relationship. <laughs> you couldn't have because I saw something in him, something that no other person could have seen. <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, after youth service, mm. yeah. you find it so hard to get a job. I was even plan to give him all the money I have, all my savings. But you know what happened? Mm -hmm. He said no. He refused. For real? Yeah. He wow. rather went to his father and cajoled him to sell their only landed property. Mm. That was how he went into oil and gas. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's how Nelson actually got into oil and gas. Exactly. You wow. See? I mean... <laughs> The same guy called Paul is now stinkily rich. <laughs> yeah, that's why they say in life, don't look down on anybody. Because our lives and the lives of others are in God's hand. You can say that again. <laughs> As you already know, we stay in Abuja, our own private house. Nothing so fancy, just a story, the place. <laughs> Something. <laughs> then we have... Um, Plazas and Finney Station, all mm. over the place in Abuja, Protocol wow. and Vegas. <laughs> wow. And that is exactly what brought us to Asaba. My husband mm. is actually building a Finney Station and a plaza here. Really? <laughs> yes, my friend. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You deserve this and more. I mean, look at you. You've been. You've been really there. You're a good person. You have a great and likable personality. Thank you. And come on, Nelson, you guys are a match made in heaven. And you've been there with him through thick and thin. Yeah. <sighs> Unlike me, though, who her only dream was to actually marry an already made man, which right now I regret it. Truthfully, I regret it. I truly regret it. How? How do you mean? How do you mean? What's happening? I cheat. You cheat. Sleep with the gate man, Titus. <sighs> I'll slow down. Wait, you cheat on your husband with your gate man. Oh no, now, Nancy. Can you do something like that? Sleeping with your gate man. Oh, come on. I thought you were classy. I'm suffering. I'm going through a lot emotionally. But sleeping with your gate man is a no no. See, let me tell you, whatever you do, you need to put a stop to it. You need to stop it. See, I knew you were going to cheat. I knew it. But with your gate man, get! <clears throat> you need to fire him. I can't. That's the only reason I'm still in this marriage. Else I would have walked. I would have walked away. I just wish I could just leave this marriage for good. Nancy, you need to fire your kid, man. I can't. I just 
told you I can't. See, put emotions by the side and stop being biased. Fire him because you know what will happen if Michael gets to find out that you cheat with your kid, man. Mm. Well, I have everything under control. He won't find out. Do you think you do? It's not my fault that this is happening. Besides, you remember my, the wife of my husband's best friend? Um, Lucy? Yes, Lucy. She left her husband because he's a sex maniac. Wow. And here I am. My husband cannot even do it. So, what do you want me to do? Wait, you, you mean Thompson and Lucy are divorced? They're not together. I, I thought I told you. Oh, no, you did not. What do you feel like that? That doesn't give you the right to be sleepy. You're stupid so much to be doing it with your kids, man. Stop it. I just told you that gate man is the only reason I'm still in this marriage. <clears throat> Nancy, mm -hmm. life is a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. See, it's high time you removed the hand of the monkey from the pot before the unprecedented happens. Think about it. Please, my friend. Who is that? Hold on, I'm coming. Yourself at home. Of course. Oh. Sit down. So, um, to what do I owe this pleasant visit? Well, I just thought to come say hello to you, you know. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, uh, what do I offer you? I have a um, whiskey, champagne, oh, wine. Anything strong <laughs> would oh, do. Something strong. Mm -hmm. I think whiskey would do, right? Perfect. I'll be right back. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yes. I don't know what's going on. Titus. Okay. Who is your baby? Okay. Will you answer me if I strongly? I, I, I am going to drown you in this pool. Who is your baby? Come on, sir. Will you answer me properly? Organa mistake. Oh. What, 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 what kind of mistake? Hey. What kind of mistake? Organa mistake. What kind of mistake? That's, that's what did you just call my wife? Uh, my, my, oh, oh, organa mistake. Oh, this is not mistake. Hey. And, and you don't see. Tell me if I got here. Are you sleeping with my get man? What is going on? What is this? What is this? What is what? Jesus, can you say it? Can you say it? Because of you, my husband is going to accuse me. Can you say it? Are you stupid? Can you say it? Why would you do this? What kind of get 